My name is Caitlin, and this is my presentation about the striped skunk. Its scientific name is Mephitis mephitis, and it's a member of the mink family. Here is a front view of the skunk, and a side view. The skunk likes to live in open areas with a mix of grass and forests, and it doesn't like to be more than two miles away from a good water source, such as a river, a creek, or a reservoir. The climate of the places it lives in can be widely varied. As you can see on the map, it lives in the blue areas, and it can really vary between Mexico and Canada. The skunk is an omnivore, and it eats mostly insects such as grasshoppers, crickets, and beetles. It also eats earthworms, snails, crawfish, wasps, and ants. Some of the animals it eats are frogs and small mammals like voles, mice, moles, rats, and squirrels. The plants it likes to eat are blackberries, raspberries, black cherries, blueberries, grains, corn, and nuts. And if they live near an area populated by humans, they eat garbage. The skunk is primarily solitary, and it's also nocturnal. It only likes to interact with members of its own species if it's during the breeding period. It has the predators of the red fox, the great horned owl, eagles, mountain lions, bobcats. It has the special behavior of releasing a very potent musk when it feels threatened. The skunk has a range length of about 13 to 18 inches, excluding its big bushy tail. It has a black coat with two white stripes running from its nose to its rump. It's comparable in size to a common house cat. It has five toes on each of its paws, and it has long claws on those paws so it can dig around for roots and insects. You can see in a picture of its skeleton that it is very comparable to a cat or some member of the feline family. In its skull, it has very large incisors and large eye sockets. In its family comparison, some of the similarities to the badger, another one of the animals I will be doing a presentation over, is its size, some of the coloration on its coat, it also has stripes, and its skull and its dental structure are very similar as you can see from the pictures. And their paws, I believe, are used for some of the same reasons they like to burrow around, even though I think this badger burrows a little bit more than the skunk does. Some of the differentiations are the coloration, such as the skunk is mainly black and white, and the badger has a little bit more of brown and yellow tones in its coat. Also, the badger's snout is a little bit more elongated than the skunk, and it has a smaller tail than the skunk does. The skunk has that big, bushy tail. These are my works cited, my, and my images cited. Thank you for listening to my presentation.